All right, just wanted to do a quick little video kind of briefly explaining why, uh, although I am heavily critical of the false satanic demonic uh, blasphemous religion of Islam, uh, why I would personally not support a ban on the hijab or the burqa. And here is just kind of my brief summary of why I would not support something like that and why I've actually been vocal against it in the past. So first of all, uh, burqa bans and hijab bans are a violation of personal liberty and go against actually the separation of church and state. So. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, just because I wouldn't approve of a burqa does not mean I get to enforce my personal beliefs on the Muslim woman who chooses to wear the burqa, okay? Banning the hijab or the burqa is no different than countries who would mandate it, essentially, because in the end, you're still controlling what the Muslim women wear. So, you know, their argument is that, oh, well, they're, they're mandating the hijab, so, you know, that's a bad thing, but then we're going to ban it. But, you know, what makes you any different? Because you're still having to control what they wear. Okay, forced modesty and then forced immodesty like you have over in France are just two extreme opposites but part of the same coin of the state controlling what the Muslim women wear. It's no different. Okay, it, and both are a violation of personal liberty. Uh, just because a secular feminist in France does not feel or, or personally feels that the burqa or the hijab oppresses women doesn't mean that that secular feminist gets to ban it because she's then just enforcing her personal beliefs by the state. Uh, because, like I said, at that point, she's being no different, and she's just being on the extreme other end, but still trying to mandate what they wear. It's no different. Uh, in France, they, they claim to have church-state separation and state neutrality in religion, but this has been demonstrated to be false time and time again, okay? The state is constantly getting into the realms of enforcing secularism in the private lives of not just Muslims, but pretty much anybody who's not a secularist. Okay, church-state separation goes both ways. Uh, religions don't influence or control the state, and likewise, the state doesn't try to influence or control religious matters. But in France, they see that uh, it's being violated quite a lot. Like you can't even homeschool your kids; you have to send them to a uh, state secular school. Okay, that's not church-state separation. That's not state neutrality in religion. That's the state trying to. That's basically just nothing more than state-enforced secularism. Okay. So that's kind of my brief summary of why I personally, uh, though I am heavily critical of Islam, um, heavily critical of the Quran, the false prophet Muhammad, uh, I don't support using the state to, to pass laws against Islam. Because first of all, giving the government that kind of power, is it never ends well, okay? Because if you're a Christian, don't support, the, don't support giving the government this kind of power because once they have the power to do it to the Muslims, what could stop them from doing it to the Christians, you know? So given the government that kind of authority, basically authoritarianism is never the answer. I'll just put it that way. Uh, and then when you give the government that kind of power, it never ends well. So plain and simple, what you have is basically China, where they're putting the, the Muslims in the, in the camps. So anyway, that's my brief summary. Uh, Islam, again, false and satanic. However, liberty of conscience applies to everybody, and I don't get to force my beliefs upon those who, who, who I would you know disagree with. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.